Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning to share with you guys my goals for the year. Um, and I've been planning this for probably almost every day of January 2024, honing in into what I have to work on and areas of my life that I would like to improve on. First off, I want to share with you guys this poster that I made for my goals of 2024. To be honest, I have never done this before. And I think creating this map of the major goals I had this year really helped me visualize what I wanted um, out of my life for my year of 2024. And later I'll show you guys my four main goals of the year. So my main word for 2024 is no plan B. And what I mean by this is that I don't want to have any like backup plans or do anything that I don't want to do. I just want to go towards plan A, which is the thing I should be doing and not hesitate on my actions later on. I want to be consistently putting effort into my plan A and also develop systems where I could form habits and accomplish my plan A without worrying about a plan B. So that's why I decided to choose the word no plan B basically meaning just do it and just don't think too much about it because I when I make decisions, I often think too much about the pros and cons of each and it just gives me a headache. So I'm just like, just do it. Don't think too much. Don't overthink it. You'll be fine. So that is why I chose the word no plan B. So before 2024, um, whenever I was planning goals for 2023, 2022 and all the previous years before, I always made the mistake of making too many goals. Like I literally wanted to try to get abs. I wanted to try to get a, run a marathon. I wanted to learn how to cook. I wanted to do my nails. I wanted to watch a thousand movies and read a thousand books. I wanted to spend more family time and just do so much that it wasn't realistic to fit all that into my schedule along with other priorities I had at that time. So this year, I want to just hone into four main categories and that would be mainly my health, my mind, and my relationships. And wait, that's four. But the, the fourth one is um, reflections. And that's not really an area in life, but like I wanna still work on that. Um, as part of a growing process in my life. This is the poster board I made for my 2024 goals. And as you can see, the four areas in life I want, want to work on are health right here, my mind, my hobbies, and relationships, basically fun places I could go to with my family and friends. And the last but not least, I want to reflect more often this year so I know what to improve on and how to continually tweak my habits or anything I may need to get towards my goals. So for health, um, I used to want to do like a bunch of things in health, but I realized that having just one goal for each of these areas in your life is already enough for you. And it's more realistic to achieve one goal than a thousand goals that you set each year. So instead of having goals such as get abs, um, lose weight, and also gain muscle and run a marathon, um, this year I focused more on a process-oriented goal instead of an outcome goal. And that is to, um, that is to run every day. So the difference between a process-oriented goal and a outcome goal is that the outcome goal obviously focuses on the outcome, while the process-oriented goal focuses on the progress and how you're going to get there. For my process-oriented goal this year for health, it's basically to run the miles that I have set myself up to this year. So as you can see, I wrote in January, I should at least run three miles each day unless it's on the days that I'm, I feel sick or I have cramps, etc. February, I aim to run four miles and March, I aim to 
run five miles and the list goes on. And I put my why and that is for mainly for a healthy heart and to gain more muscles. Although I would love to have like abs and lose weight, I think those are my secondary goals. And they um really honing on in into just one goal, which is running, allows me to just put my mind to that. So the next category I want to show you guys is the mind category. And for the mind category, I would like to read more. And one of the goals um, is reading because I often didn't find time to read when I was in school and often made an excuse that I did not want to read and didn't have time for it. So I think since I have time now, I might as well read more books to improve my insight about others and learn about different perspectives about the world. And some of the lists that I want to go through is Show Your Work. Um, what is it? By Austin Cleon, The Practice by Seth Godin, To Die With the Zero by Bill Perkins, Beyond Wealth by Alexander Green, and Three of Arms by Eric Parker. And so these are the list of books I aim to read right now. Obviously, I am going to add to this list so I can update you guys on that if you guys want, or maybe even do some book reviews later on. So my next category is hobbies, and for hobbies, it's actually doing this kind of video and posting it on YouTube and just posting YouTube film video on a regular basis. So I have wanted to do YouTube or at least have the courage to do YouTube for the past few years, but I have never dared to even post one video and always made an excuse that I did not have time or procrastinated. And so I finally sat down one day, and since it was January of 2024, where all the goal setting stuff happened, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to post it. I don't care the quality of it. It's going to be bad quality anyways, because it's my first video. But I'm proud that I just published that first video. And now I'm just trying to learn as I go. So my goal for 2024 for my hobbies is just to post regularly um often once a week at least once a week on youtube about some content that i make and i just hope that goes well so my last main area of life i would like to work on is relationships and that is not romantic relationships is more of relationships with my friends and family, especially my family, because I am now home with them and I can spend more time with them on the weekends or on their off days. So I have trying to plan at least a fun place or fun activity every Sunday or Tuesday whenever they're free. And some of the lists I've come up with or accomplished in January was going to Little Tokyo, eating at the street food feast at Smorgasburg, Los Angeles, um, visiting the Silai Temple, and the list goes on. I also want to go to Huntington Library, maybe even visit Echo Park Lake, and I hope to continually do this with either my families or friends and just have more fun with the people I love. Last but not least, I want to work on my reflections. Um, including daily reflections, weekly reflections, monthly reflections, and the yearly reflection. So I think what I didn't do in the previous years was reflecting on my goals throughout the process. I would only like reflect it once December hits and I was like, oh, I didn't achieve my goals. But I never reflected on why I didn't achieve those goals. And I never set myself to see where I am at in like the middle of the year or quarterly quarter of the year or half point of the year. And um, I think that's a good place to start because when you reflect on your goals, you understand that even when you drift away from your goals, you can still get on track by tweaking things in your daily life and 
ensuring that all the tools you need can help you get on the right path. So I think these reflections are really important because it tightens the gap between where you are at and where you're trying to go. So for example, if you're trying to go on a road trip to, let's say, Chicago, and on the way there, you get lost and you go onto another path, then obviously when that occurs, you're not just going to continue on that path. You eventually will go back and go on the main road to Chicago. So what I'm trying to say here is that I think reflecting allows us to stop for a moment and see where we're at and see how we can go towards that main path again. And part of goal setting is not to strictly follow each goal. Obviously, you want to achieve those goals by the end of the year, but sometimes things don't work out. And the main point is to not to beat yourself up for that but to continually improve on how we can get to our goals little by little.